Hey, hey, everybody, it's Chad Campbell, certified functional medicine provider with Redesign You and Hope Family Care. And I want to say hi. Um, I haven't talked to everybody for a while, um, but that's because we talked about that I was going to bring the facts and there haven't been hardly any new facts uh, because we're still waiting for all these studies to come out. What we do know is that the COVID is back. Um, it's on our second wave that we were talking about previously. And there's over 100,000 new cases every day. Um, right now, I'm in Vegas. As you can see, pretty empty. Um, I'm at a medical conference. And um, I, I was just watching people. And that's why I wanted to do this video was because, you know, us wearing masks um, is all we know about prevention. Wearing a mask, washing your hands. Um, but we as a society don't know really what do we do with this thing on our face all the time? And I'm watching people, including the medical professionals at this medical conference, and everybody keeps touching their face. They keep sticking their fingers underneath their masks. And it just occurred to me, you know, we're not good at this. And so, yes, the masks are going to help, but um, we have to do other things as well. Okay. And so I want to bring some updates. Um, some of the updates, the symptoms uh, in my office, we see mainly the, the people with COVID are all sinus issues. Um, as the patients get older, we do notice the lung issues starting to arise a lot more. But for the most part, sore throat, headache, and just the number one symptom, just the fatigue, the extreme exhaustion. That's the number one symptom that we actually see. Um, with testing, uh, the rapid swabs came out. Um, they are not the easy rapid swab, like in your mouth, it's uh, still a nasal swab, but we get the results back in about 15 minutes. They're 90% effective, um, so 90% accurate. The problem with them is that you have to be sick and you have to have had the symptoms less than seven days. So if you've had the symptoms more than seven days, then you need the deeper swab, the nasal pharyngeal swab, uh, which is PCR. If you have had exposure, and you have no symptoms, the rapid's not going to work. You have to go with the deeper swab. And, and we, we get a lot of questions about, well, I want the rapid. Well, you can't do it if you're not sick. So you have to be sick, and you have to have the symptoms for less than seven days. Um, treatments, no new treatments. Um, most of the medications that you'll hear about, rendesivir and the steroids, the rendesivir and the other medicines like what the president got, which we'll find out about soon, um, are to help people get out of the ICU sooner and kind of throwing things at them. But we'll wait for the research, see what it says. Steroids, we still use those for people who um, are having lung issues, like if they're just not exchanging oxygen very well, give that early enough, it tends to help them out really well with their lungs. Um, vitamin C, vitamin D, e, um, zinc, all wonderful for prevention. They're not gonna help you a whole lot when you actually have it, okay? But they're wonderful per, per, for prevention, along with the healthy lifestyle, as well as the exercise, and as well as sleep. And, and this is where my thing comes in with this, is um, I think it's really hard right now um, I had a client last night that I spoke to, lives on Central Park in Manhattan. He had COVID and he's kind of stuck in his house. He's stuck in this apartment and it's kind of like, what do you do? Where do you go? And we have to make an effort to get out and walk for sure, just for our mind health. Um, but if everything starts to close up again, what do we do? And the only things that we can do is healthy lifestyle, exercise and sleep. And that's one of the reasons why with Redesign You, we went ahead and did a 10-day challenge. It was pretty cool. It was me and my family we went camping. And each day did a video on pretty much the, the basic foundation, the, the foundation basics, like the pillars of just a healthy lifestyle. And one small little thing each day for people to try to implement into their life. Um, we had a great turnout, so we decided to go ahead and do a 30-day challenge. Now, the 30-day challenge is going to go a little bit deeper, has more resources for you. And this is what I truly believe with COVID, with the flu, with the way that the society is changing, that you can rely, cannot rely on medicine anymore. Like, we have to do this ourselves. 
we have to initiate a proactive role in our health and getting healthy. And that's why I started Redesign You. That's why I'm doing what I am doing is because that's what I love to do. I love to equip people to be able to be the leader in their own health. They get to decide what is their goals and their health, not somebody else deciding that for them. So if you get a chance, check out the 10 day challenge and then check out the 30 day challenge, which goes even longer and deeper and more resources. And we're going to keep doing this because that's what we truly believe is going to help people out. If you need us, we're here. We would love to meet with you and, and to be able to help you achieve your goals in health. Um, my, my, myself, my team, uh, my fun certified functional medicine health coach, integrative cardiologist, integrative pediatrician, physical therapy. We've got a whole team just waiting to try to help people to achieve their, their goals. Check us out, www.redesignyou.net, and check out that 10-day and 30-day challenge. Otherwise, achieve that health. Facts over fear. Bye.